Christmas they had here of a tree was in 1915. And then it kind of jumped ahead until my time. We had a man by the name of Shag Parks, uh, where a uh, chess hardware store is now. That used to be Island Grocery back in the 1950s. He had it for about 10 years. And uh, he played Santa Claus. So the way we did it in those days to let people, let him know that they wanted him to come in and uh, have his picture taken with kids in their home is they would leave their light on on the porch. So as he was walking up and down, we didn't have golf carts in those days, so as he was walking up and down the street, if he saw a light on, he would know that we were waiting for him. Now, in those days, the, popu the population now is about 4,000. The population then was about 2,000. So he knew everybody. He knew everybody. And so that made it nice because he knew exactly who the, the kids were at that particular house. Now, as far as I know, Shag did not take money for coming by. But what he did take was a a drink. Oh, not milk and cookies either. So, no, no milk and cookies for Shag Parks. So you hoped that he would get to you first, <laughs> because toward the end of his route, his beard was sideways, you know, over the top of his head. He was very wobbly. I remember as a kid, you could smell his breath. Of course, I didn't know what it was, but I just knew that Santa was acting a little weird. And he would scare the kids because he was acting weird and smelled and whatever. So we would always uh, try to smile, you know, smile, you know, then our folks would take a picture. So I have some very strange pictures of my brother and I trying to smile as we're sitting on his lap, looking up at him with his beard over to the side and him reeking of something we had no idea what it was. So that's the only thing I wanted to catch up on was about what uh, Christmas was like.